YouTube, what's going on? It's Jamar back from Vegas Sense. I got a brand new video today. In this video, I'm comparing a new Louis Vuitton Imagination clone to Louis Vuitton's Imagination. So before I get started with the video, just wanna ask if you're brand new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also leave a like and a comment below. And also if you find the information in this video helpful, go ahead and share the video. All right, so just to get started with the video here, the fragrance that we're, be, uh, that we're gonna be going over here is Essence de Blanc by F.A. Paris. And so F.A. Paris, again, is like fragrance world, sort of high-end fragrance line. Um, so you can definitely, you can know for sure whenever you're getting like a F.A. Paris fragrance, it is going to be like their best take on that particular fragrance. And I've had pretty good luck with the F.A. Paris fragrances that I've gotten. Uh, most of them, I believe, have all been like the sort of Initio clones. Um, but this one is actually, it's really good. And, and also, the other F.A. Paris fragrance that I have is the Divin Asylum, the Rosa Elysium clone. So that one is also very good as well. Um, as you can see, man, like I said, the front of the box looks like that. And you've got the F.A. Paris logo up top. You've got it on the back here as well, along with the ingredients. Uh, there's nothing on this side or the bottom. And then you've got the name of the fragrance as well as the notes. And I, I believe this is like a sort of authenticity QR code or something like that that you can scan. So that's the the presentation of the box and then pretty much you open this like this and you kind of stick this in these two little slots that are on the side to get that to stay up. And then the bottle just kind of sits in there like that. All right. And as you can see the front of the bottle, it, it looks just like the, the front of this box. So the same design. Uh, it's kind of like, no, depending on the way that the light hits this, uh, it either turns gold or silver, just depending on, you know, how it's sitting in the light. But like I said, as you can see, the front of the bottle looks exactly like the front of the box. And just like the box, you've got the name of the fragrance and the notes on the side here. Nothing on the side, nothing on the back. And then at the bottom, you've got the F.A. Paris logo nice metal cap and let's get straight into it man let's go ahead and spray this on and see how it compares at least in the opening anyway to imagination all right so there are some slight differences at least in the immediate opening both of these smell really good in the opening so just want to kind of mention that right off the bat it's not like the clone has any sort of like cheap alcohol synthetic type of smell to it this is definitely the essence the blanc it's definitely smooth right from the initial spray and just like the louis vuitton however there are uh, there are slight differences um, the Louis Vuitton to my nose it has sort of like this kind of green almost grassy type of element to it that the essence the Blanc it has it but it's not as pronounced in the essence the Blanc Now the, the opening notes or the top notes of this particular fragrance are citron, Calabrian bergamot, and Sicilian orange. The mid is Nigerian ginger, Tunisian neroli, and Ceylon cinnamon. And then in the base notes, it's Chinese black tea, Ambroxan, Olibanum, and Gayak wood. So you definitely, in the opening you get that sort of tartness, um, at least in the the Louis Vuitton, it doesn't necessarily smell like you're smelling like tart citruses necessarily. Like I said, it gives off more so kind of like a green, almost grassy type of vibe, at least to my nose in the opening for Louis Vuitton's imagination. 
the the tartness that you get from the essence the blanc does more so in my opinion resemble like tart citruses um instead of like a tart kind of green type of vibe so those are definitely those are the the slight differences that i noticed between these two in the opening um can I necessarily say that one smells better than the other? Um, I would say that the Louis Vuitton, it does smell slightly more higher quality, slightly more natural. The way that this one comes off, it almost kind of comes off as giving like a, almost sort of like a suntan lotion type of vibe to it. Whereas like I said, the Louis Vuitton it kind of gives like a a green kind of like a green floral type of you know uh feel to it in the opening now in terms of let's say percentage of closeness uh i would say the essence de blanc is probably 85 to 90 percent close to the imagination at least in the opening but Definitely, as the, the two fragrances start to dry down, that's, I think, where the Essence de Blanc really shines in terms of, like, its accuracy to Louis Vuitton's imagination. Once these two start to dry down, and I would say pretty much after about an hour or so, an hour to an hour and a half, they definitely they they become at least within probably 97 percent close to each other like they really become super close to each other now the only difference that i notice you know once you get past like that first initial opening is the essence the blanc it does sort of hold on to like that tart citrusy uh opening for a little bit longer than what the Louis Vuitton does. The Louis Vuitton kind of gets rid of like that tart, citrusy, green, grassy type of opening. It gets rid of that probably after, I don't know, maybe about 20 minutes or, or you know, maybe even more into, you know, when you first spray this on. The Essence de Blanc, in my opinion, holds on to that for like the first hour, hour and a half. It's not as strong as what it is necessarily when you first spray it on, but you can definitely tell that it's holding on to that sort of tartness that both fragrances have at least for like the first hour and a half or so. And then after the first hour and a half, these definitely, they become pretty close to each other. Like I said, about 97% close. And the only main difference that I notice is the essence de blanc this is actually stronger than what the louis vuitton imagination is in you know the far dry down so i just got this in today i can't really speak to like its longevity as of yet but just smelling these on the the two tester strips that i sprayed on like hours ago I could definitely tell that the Essence de Blanc is, is definitely stronger than Louis Vuitton. So that's definitely a good sign, I would say, for this particular fragrance. Um, especially considering the fact that, you know, I picked this one up for about $55 uh, from the Oot Store's eBay store. Uh, I believe on the website, this goes for like $69.99, I think. I just went ahead and did like a best offer of like $55 on eBay. So I would definitely recommend maybe going that route if you want to pick this one up. Um, and the Louis Vuitton, you know, that one is $300 plus taxes. And, you know, you really can't find any sort of discounts on Louis Vuitton fragrances. Does the Louis Vuitton smell almost $250 better than the Essence de Blanc? absolutely not it absolutely does not like i said in the initial opening you do sort of sense a slight quality difference but i mean it's super neck it's super negligible um and in my opinion like i said once once the two dry down 
this becomes so close that I really don't see a need for paying the extra money for the Louis Vuitton unless you just want to have those Louis Vuitton bottles in your collection. All right. Now, also in regards to this fragrance, the Emperor Perfumes Intimation, this is definitely not as close as what the Essence de Blanc is. But this is still a very good solid fragrance in my opinion this is definitely more so an inspiration or a different take on the imagination dna like i mentioned before this is definitely sweeter and once it sort of dries down you don't necessarily get as much of that uh neroli note that you get in imagination and also in the essence de blanc so those are the differences that I'm, uh, you know, can kind of sniff out between this and the Essence de Blanc and Imagination. But I think if, let's say for instance, if you can't find Essence de Blanc and you can't afford the Louis Vuitton Imagination, then this is definitely going to be a good alternative because it does still have a really sort of refreshing scent quality. Um, you know, especially during these like super hot, uh, summer months. So definitely check this one out as well. But if you want something that is super close to Louis Vuitton's imagination, then I think you definitely have to pick this one up. This is Essence de Blanc by F.A. Paris. Let me know, have you all smelled this particular fragrance? And also, have you smelled this along with the Louis Vuitton's imagination? What do you think? How close is this to Louis Vuitton's imagination in your opinion? All right. So again, definitely, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Also, leave a like and a comment below. Share the video if you found the information helpful. That's Jamar from Vegas Sense. I'll see you all in the next video.